Welcome back to Motherland Channel. In 2023, we'll witness 10 shortages in the food industry that will have an impact on our food supply. While some of these shortages may already be familiar to you, it's crucial to explore ways to improve our situation through prepping. Additionally, there are shortages that you may not be aware of and may can trigger a chain reaction affecting other foods and products we consume. So let's delve into these 10 shortages that we anticipate in the food industry for 2023. Let's begin the video right now. Although 2023 may not offer significant improvements over 2022, I remain hopeful that we can bring about positive change. The essence of prepping, homesteading, and being prepared lies in our ability to remain resilient and navigate through the challenges that surround us. By embracing a proactive approach, we can face any situation that arises. Therefore, I encourage you to enhance your preparedness for 2023 take on greater financial responsibility and ensure that you are actively engaged in prepping and making necessary preparations. Number 10, wheat and flour. The shortage of wheat and flour is becoming increasingly severe, primarily because we rely on the previous year's supply. With ongoing conflicts and Ukraine serving as a major breadbasket for various regions, Harvests have suffered due to factors such as drought, famine, and limited access to water. Consequently, the availability of bread and flour will continue to dwindle this year. However, it doesn't mean that these products cannot be found. Rather, they'll come at a higher cost. In light of this, I encourage you to embrace the art of bread making. Creating your own bread is not a complex endeavor. You can opt for methods such as Dutch oven-style bread, no-knead bread, or even venture into sourdough bread. Consider establishing a starter for sustainable baking or try your hand at a yeast-based bread, utilizing a Pullman pan for sandwich loaves. By acquiring the skills to produce your own bread and stockpiling flour, you can mitigate the impact of shortages and inflation. Number 9. Butter Numerous dairy farms are shutting down. These closures can be attributed to various factors, such as the challenges of sustaining a profitable business, co-ops failing to collect the milk, or the overall struggles faced by farmers. As a result, dairy shortages have become more prevalent. Fortunately, on our farm, we produce our own butter, just like we do with lard. Thus, if both lard and butter become scarce, it directly impacts the availability of fat sources which are essential components in many prepared meals. To address this potential scarcity, it's crucial to explore substitute options and alternative fats and oils. One suggestion is to consider obtaining raw dairy milk, if possible, and utilize it to create your own butter. Another option is to procure lard from a farmer or butcher, which can be rendered down for various uses. We have informative videos available on rendering lard and making butter, which can guide you through the process. The year 2023 presents an opportunity for sustainability and learning essential skills that may have been forgotten. This extends beyond prepping alone and encourages individuals to embrace basic practices that promote self-sufficiency. The shortage of butter highlights the importance of adapting and acquiring these fundamental abilities. Number 8. Tomatoes Tomatoes, a versatile ingredient used as a base in numerous dishes such as spaghetti, chili, salads, and ketchup, hold immense culinary importance. However, when tomatoes become scarce, it directly translates to higher costs. This shortage affects not only the availability of tomatoes themselves, but also has a ripple effect on other food items similar to the impact caused by the scarcity of oils, as mentioned earlier. To address the potential tomato shortage, a viable solution lies in growing your own. Even with limited space, you can cultivate tomatoes by utilizing buckets as containers. In fact, we successfully grew tomatoes in buckets throughout the previous year. It's a relatively straightforward process, especially when you provide them with adequate organic nitrogen fertilizer and ensure a reliable source of water. Growing your own tomatoes not only helps combat the shortage, it also offers the added benefit of superior taste. Number 7. Pet Food Pet food, 
An essential item for many pet owners is facing significant challenges. While dry dog food is a common option, its limited shelf life raises concerns. As a result, many people opt for higher quality pet food in cans. However, we're witnessing shortages in that area as well. Consequently, in 2023, the price of pet food will escalate. This increase can be attributed not only to the rising cost of the ingredients and byproducts used, such as meat, but also to the packaging itself. This situation highlights how inflation and economic factors have adverse effects on our lives. It becomes clear that if we fail to stock up on these items before prices soar further, it'll have a detrimental impact on us and our financial well-being. While it is true that we should have started stockpiling years ago, it's never too late to begin. Even now, we can start accumulating supplies and engaging in prepping practices. It's essential to disregard the naysayers and individuals who spread panic and fear, claiming it's too late to start. When it comes to prepping and panic buying, pets often tend to be overlooked. However, it's crucial to consider the needs of our beloved animals. In our case, we recently welcomed a beautiful new puppy into our family. To ensure his well-being and the welfare of our other pets, it's vital to stock up on pet food. The supply of pet food is likely to be scarce or come at a significantly higher cost in the near future. Number 6. Aluminum Cans or Aluminum Aluminum cans or aluminum as it's known outside of the United States play a crucial role in packaging the canned foods we purchase from supermarkets and grocers. To prepare for potential shortages, it's important to stockpile canned food. However, an alternative approach is to learn how to can your own food using glass containers. Currently, glass jars are readily available and it is favorable time to purchase quart, pint, and half-gallon jars for this purpose. Additionally, securing canning lids is essential, as they're often made from materials that may become scarce and difficult to find during the spring and summer seasons. By stockpiling canning rings and lids, you can acquire the necessary supplies to engage in the process of canning. Aluminum holds significant importance in our lives, particularly concerning the shipment and supply of groceries and food products. Therefore, it is crucial to not overlook the importance of having an ample supply of prepped aluminum cans. We've discussed the potential consequences of relying solely on store-bought canned foods as their prices may escalate not only due to the contents within but also due to the scarcity of aluminum. Consequently, it is highly advisable to begin procuring these essential items. As we progress through 2023, the shortage of aluminum is expected to become more pronounced, emphasizing the need for proactive measures. Number 5. Drinks that need an aluminum container Beverages that require aluminum containers such as sodas and alcohol are expected to face shortages or higher costs. Coca-Cola and various beer manufacturers have already announced significant price increases for 2023. While I personally abstain from consuming soft drinks and alcohol due to their detrimental effects on health, if these are vices for you, it's advisable to gradually reduce your dependence on them. Instead, consider alternatives like drinking water or exploring the art of making kombucha, a fermented tea known for its digestive health benefits. By learning to prepare kombucha, which can be made in glass containers to avoid aluminum usage, you can enjoy a carbonated beverage without the accompanying drawbacks. This not only promotes a healthier lifestyle, but also aligns with sustainable practices. Number 4. Vegetable Oil and or Other Seed Oils Vegetable oil and other seed oils are often viewed as less healthy options, yet they remain widely used in cooking and food preparation, including in restaurants. Many of the packaged food items we purchase are coated in these oils, despite their detrimental effects on our health. While this reality may have a greater impact on convenience foods, it's essential to consider the situation in our own homes. How are we ensuring an adequate supply of fats and oils? The potential shortage of vegetable oil and other seed oils could pose significant challenges. Additionally, there's also a shortage of palm oil which, despite being an unfavorable oil, finds its way into many food products. 
While natural peanut butters and similar alternatives may not be affected, most conventional peanut butters contain palm oil. Therefore, if we rely on peanut butter as an affordable and shelf-stable source of protein, the price may increase, shortages may arise, or the flavor could be altered due to missing oils. It's prudent to stock up on peanut butter while considering suitable substitutes for oils. In this regard, lard has been a favored choice. Number 3. Coffee Coffee prices have recently experienced a significant surge, primarily due to adverse weather conditions such as heavy rainfall and drought in coffee-growing regions. These factors contribute to an anticipated shortage of coffee, leading to a substantial increase in prices. Major storms in areas like Brazil, South America, and other regions have caused significant damage to coffee crops, further exacerbating the supply challenges. Just as with other crops like corn, wheat, or soybeans, a crop failure results in higher prices for the limited supply, creates more widespread shortages. For individuals who enjoy drinking coffee, it is advisable to take proactive measures by purchasing additional supplies. Consider buying a few extra sacks of coffee to ensure availability. It's worth recognizing the significance of caffeine in our daily lives and the impact it has on our bodies. If coffee is a regular part of your routine, I encourage you to stockpile coffee as it's expected to be in short supply or more expensive in 2023. Number 2. Local Produce There is a noticeable decrease in the ability of many individuals to produce a surplus of local crops. Factors such as limited access to fertilizer, adverse weather conditions resulting in reduced yields, and water scarcity due to droughts contribute to this trend. As a result, smaller-scale market gardens may not be able to produce as much fresh produce as before. These challenges affect the availability of local farm fresh produce as the farmers focus on growing enough to sustain their own families. Nevertheless, it's still important to support local farms by purchasing their fresh produce if you have the opportunity. Despite the higher costs associated with these products, buying locally supports the farmers and ensures higher quality. It's worth noting that farmers do not accumulate substantial profits as so they have to bear the expense of various agricultural implements. Number 1. Beef Beef, along with other types of meat, is experiencing a shortage. Currently, the price of beef and cattle is actually on the rise, as the impact of inflation seems to be affecting the industry. However, due to the increasing cost of feed and water-related challenges, there is a significant amount of beef entering the market. This influx may temporarily lower prices, or it may not, considering the beef's industry's manipulation by a small number of key players. Despite the possibility of excess beef in the market, it's important to note that the process of raising cattle to maturity for meat production takes a considerable amount of time. Whether on a feedlot or at home, as a result, there is high likelihood of major shortage in the coming year. Factors such as early slaughter, quicker sales, or the need to offload animals due to financial constraints have disrupted the typical growth cycle of cattle, impacting the availability of beef. Therefore, a significant increase in access to beef may not be expected until the middle or end of next year, and even then, prices are likely to be high. Compounding the beef shortage issue is the opposition it faces in the political realm. People are advocating against consuming meat, creating additional challenges for the industry. This makes navigating the situation even more difficult. However, if you're not able to raise your own beef, there are many smaller scale operations and local farmers who specialize in producing steers and beef for local consumption. Finding a local farmer who can sell you either half or a whole steer or purchasing directly from a butcher at the market allows you to bypass the middlemen and large, profit-driven corporations dominating the beef industry. By supporting local farmers, you not only contribute to their livelihoods but also enjoy better quality fresh meat. This way, you can mitigate the impact of the beef shortage, particularly if you're not solely reliant on supermarket purchases. So yeah, in 2023, prioritize the well-being of your family through any means necessary. It's important to pay attention to the specific items mentioned, as they're likely to be in short supply during the year. 
While some of these items have already experienced shortages in recent years, it's anticipated that the situation may worsen for certain items in 2023. We sincerely appreciate your continued support, watching our videos, and consuming our content. May you be blessed in all your endeavors.